Hello buddies, my name is Game Knight. Tonight I want to bring to your attention a new RTS game in development by King Art Games. They started development a year ago and have self-funded the game with about a million dollars. They have now gone to Kickstarter to get our help reaching their goal of creating the best game possible. Currently there are 9 days left of the campaign and we are almost at the 1.1 million mark which will unlock the co-op campaign. The game is set to release in 2019, but for alpha backers like myself, we will be able to play come summer. Now, what is this game you ask, and why are people tossing so much money at it? The game setting is inspired by the Polish artist Jakub Rosalski. His graphical renditions of an alternative 1920s set the base for the game. As you can see, the art style is gritty and includes massive walking machines that is used on the battlefield alongside crude lands infantry and guns from that era. The game starts a few years after the Great War, where secret forces are working towards the destabilization of Europe, determined to set the world on fire and seize control. Iron Harvest will give you time to come up with a plan and allow for a wide range of tactics, including stealth. Almost everything in the game is going to be destructible, if the weapon is powerful enough. So no cover will last forever and the line of sight changes constantly. We will get a mature story told from the perspective of the three different factions. Each of the factions has three playable hero characters that offer additional options in combat and reconnaissance. The three playable factions will have over 40 different unit types and nine heroes put together. The Saxony Empire is one of the most influential countries in Europe, with powerful industries, developed cities and modern factories, and a strong military tradition. Rosviet is huge, powerful and has unmatched industrial and population potential. However, the country is tired and worn out by the long war. People are frustrated and the power of Tsar Nikolai weakens. Lastly, the Polanian Republic is a large agricultural country with a long history. It is trying to maintain its status and territory, struggling with its very aggressive neighbors, the Saxony Empire in the west and Rosviet in the East. Iron Harvest will feature three single player campaigns with one overarching story. In the story, you will switch sides from Polonia to Rosviet to Saxony. In each of the campaigns, you follow the story of one main character who is joined by two other heroes. Heroes in Iron Harvest are not going to be unstoppable super units but units with special abilities that give you additional options in combat. You can play all nine heroes in multiplayer and skirmish matches. The first three heroes, Anna, a Polonian girl who becomes a capable sniper and the symbol of the resistance. She is assisted by a bear named Wojciech. Gunther is an experienced warrior and legendary commander of the Saxony Empire, who is flanked by his two dire wolves, Nacht and Tag, night and day for those not fluent in German. And then we have Olga, a Rosviet spy who operates in the shadows with her pet tiger Changa. They can control these pets in battle and other heroes will have unique mechs or weapons to their disposal instead. In this game, infantry units will assist the heroes and are the most versatile units in the game. They can equip different weapons and tools to get new abilities or change the type of damage they deal. A standard infantry soldier with a rifle can't really harm a mech, but the very same infantry squad could find grenades, mines, hand cannons on the battlefield to change that. The co-op campaign will feature the whole single player campaign where you play with a friend, controlling the same units. So in theory, you can divide your units into two combat groups or one player can play the offense while the other one manages defense and production because base building will be a huge part of this game as well. The game will also feature competitive multiplayer, both ranked and seasons. There will be free DLCs and updates planned as well in the future instead of, as they say, 
bloating the base game with content. I hope you enjoyed this overview of Iron Harvest. If you choose to back the game because of this video, I would be grateful if you would let the developers know. That way I might be able to get my hands on the demo they are developing and that way get more content for you guys. The best way to do that is to leave a comment on their Kickstarter page once you have pledged or in their Discord channel. If you choose to go and back it and not inform the devs, that is quite all right as well. Take care and have a wonderful game night. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this, do subscribe and share it with a friend or two. It really helps out the channel and to that affect me. If you want to stay in touch with me and get notified about new videos, go follow me on Twitter. You can also visit my Twitch channel where I stream every week. If you're feeling generous, consider subscribing on Twitch or supporting me on Patreon. I'll see you soon. Have a wonderful game night.